might have in his next term, assuming that he does win the election, provide an opportunity for the EU to, to exert more influence at the budget or not? Uh, I don't claim to be an expert on Russia, um, uh, but I think Putin will win the election. I don't want to doubt about that. Um, I do think that uh, Putin and, and uh, others see uh, the world in Cold War terms and that's quite good for Belarus from the point of view that uh, thus far and no further. So the borders of the um, Soviet Empire and the Russian Empire have shrunk um, to a point where people like Putin say, well, that's it, no more. Putin, as we know, doesn't like Lukashenko, um, to put it mildly, but he'd rather have him there than have the Americans or the, or the Europeans. So, He's uh, quite keen to keep the Europeans out. Um, but I don't think it's a feature of Russian politics. I don't think uh, that, that Putin particularly cares about Belarus. It's a small place. It's not um, vital to his economy. All he cares about is the gas pipelines and the oil uh, refineries, the energy elements uh, in Belarus. And as long as um, he can control them, Gazprom has control over them, and, and that's okay. Um, going back to an early point, if I may, um, there is no prospect of reform in Belarus. We're, we're, it's always back to Lukashenko. <coughs> Lukashenko is not Belarus. Lukashenko is not the people of Belarus, but he is in control of the place. He cannot afford reform. If he, if he reforms, then his power collapses, and uh, the only thing that he cares about is staying in power. That's not going to happen. That's why I talk about the black and white situation. So uh, Russia does have influence, but um, is not prepared to, to, to use it in the way that we would like. The EU and the rest of us, at least those um, at some distance from Belarus, have no influence. Uh, um, it's a question of it's a, a political play, but it's not um, it's not for real. <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions for any of us? <coughs> what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, as, I, as I've said, I, I think um, it, it all comes back to Lukashenko. Um, the answer is to put as much pressure on him as we possibly can so that he will crack as he did in 2000. Uh, I was there in 2006, he disappeared for a couple of weeks, and uh, nothing happened during the period. Um, when I say nothing happened, there was just a void in the presidential office. Um, and, but also, nobody rose up and thought, this is my opportunity to push Lukashenko to one side. He's got control over that country, even when he's lying down and unable to anything himself. Um, there are people there who know that their well-being, perhaps their lives, depend on his continuing in power. So uh, he does have that, uh, that amount of support. So what we've got to do is um, in increase pressure. And, and to go back to another point of arenas, uh, why don't we care about these people in prison uh, and care about what's happening in Belarus? The answer is because we don't know about it. If we can raise the profile of Belarus, get people talking about Belarus, then maybe that will contribute to putting the pressure on uh, Lukashenko. To start with, you can read the brilliant book that uh, Brian wrote, and it's been released very recently, and it gives such an extensive background of what's happening, so it will help you to understand more. Um, we, you know, Free Belarus now campaign uh, is running quite a few different campaign on a different level, and one of the things that we are at the moment trying to achieve is uh, um, to move uh, hockey championship <coughs> from Belarus into another country because we believe that it's, um, um, it's very cynical to, to have such a big event in a country where people are tortured, killed, disappeared, and every possible human right is violated. So you can join us in 
support of that because the final decision is not made yet. We bombarded um, um, national federations and, and uh, international federation with letters. Uh, you can join your voice um, to do that with us. Um, and not to mention the fact, coming back to the pressure on Lukashenko, hockey is the favorite sport of Lukashenko, so it will absolutely crack him if, if the championship is over. I know it sounds like a petty thing to do, but it's not. It's, uh, it's what he understands. He understands very simple measures and the position of strengths. So, writing to political prisoners, writing to their families, letters of support because they are in complete isolation and, and the government is trying to make them believe that nobody cares, that the world doesn't know that they're in prison, that they can be killed, tortured and nobody cares. So show them that you do care, show your support to them and, and yet yeah, talk to other people, tell what's going on in Belarus. And even that will be fantastic. If you want to do more, find much more ways of helping us on our website In terms of tonight as well, I think there are postcards. There are postcards that you can sign and send to the political prisoners. Now, the likelihood is they won't get through, but it will keep a few KGB officers busy. <laughs> shows guards the pressure they are under because they will think twice how they are treating prisoners. Uh, something that we can all do as well and it's very simple is just you know, tweet about it. Share the news, read about it and talk about it with people. Um, and the media might just pick it up and create a little bit more pressure, which we all know they have it.
framing this the other way. Um, so there is no grounds on, on which to build um, and uh, invading to impose dictated, uh, to impose uh, democracy has, has gone out of favour. So that's uh, an option that's moved out to. Um, so we have somehow to um, increase the pressure on the machine, but we don't have the tools. Um, the only ones who have the tools are perhaps the Russians. state, it does have a proper structure, it's got good education, good culture, um, well-intentioned well people, friendly, good people. Um, when Lukashenko goes, the country will not collapse and wander around wondering what to do. All the jigsaw pieces are there to create something um, uh, that we can all be optimistic about. Uh, but there will be a transition. I don't think, uh, I do not believe um, anything like the Lukashenko regime will continue after Lukashenko. Um, so uh, number one uh, aim is to try to ease Lukashenko out of what the situation he's in. Uh, we only have five more minutes, sadly, so... Um, we'll do two quick questions. You and, and the, I can't see... Well, I'm trying very hard hard to speak. You're quite right. Irina, I have one question. I fully understand the need for all this breakfast that requires to be done. But one important question seems to be, how do you fund this work? Do you need money? Thank you for this question. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately. <laughs> how is it channeled to you? What are the fundraising mechanisms? You know, all the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do you much good. <laughs> no, we, we do have on our website, we, we do have a donate button, so you're very welcome to donate money. We, um, yeah, obviously there is a market outside and... and <laughs> but how many people are here? If everybody pressed the button for 10 quid, everybody that was here, that would uh, one And, and uh, my campaign manager was going to talk about it. Uh, she's much better than I, equipped to talk about it, so I'll just... You know, I'm surrounded by experts now. I actually created a very good niche to myself. <laughs> I'm just running the campaign. They do it. <laughs> Thank you, Irina. Um, we have actually today launched a new um, funding bid uh, on the site Sponsumain. Uh, if you could all visit that, that would be wonderful. The web address is sponsumain.com forward slash projects forward slash free hyphen Belarus language. <laughs> there are handouts as you think, so you don't need to remember that. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, we, we are applying, we are uh, sort of sending projects out, and because we've done a lot of work over the last year, we are recognized now, and hopefully, um, you know, funds that are supporting uh, human rights campaigns and things like that, hopefully will be responsive to us this year. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, I was just, uh, I've heard that the diplomatic work has started. I don't know a lot about diplomacy, but I'm interested, I 
Shall we all say, Живее Беларусь! Живее!